back to what I was talking about. When you're done uh, installing, you have uh, for how to build instructions, uh, frequently asked questions, the latest news links, um, current list of tools are right here. You guys may hear some kids upstairs. My girls are going crazy up there. Uh, and then says for additional support, go to the form. Uh, it says, would you like to check if a patch file exists? No, because um, I've already downloaded the latest version a few minutes ago. And um, normally I would click um, launch ultimate boot CD for win, but uh, I already have it installed somewhere else. We're going to use that installation, so I'm just going to click finish. And let me close that browser bring up uh, my installation directory, the working installation. Some things you'll need. Pay attention to this. You need to have Ultimate Boot CD for Win installed. You should download Windows XP Service Pack 3. And this would be the, uh, oh, I forgot what they call it, but it's the full download. It's 316 megabytes. You need to have a Windows XP CD um, because you need to copy all your files from your Windows XP CD into a folder on your computer. So this is basically a Windows XP CD. If you don't have one, you can probably get one off eBay. Um, I don't know if Microsoft is still really selling them. You can probably get them in a lot of places. But you need a Windows XP CD and uh, that's it. So I'm going to show you how the whole process works. This is long and uh, we're actually going to test this CD on an infected machine later on, um, probably this week, because I got Thanksgiving today and I'm busy. All right. So if I go inside my Ultimate Boot CD folder, I see this big PE uh, little logo here, big lo little whatever. Uh, it's Ultimate Boot CD for Win. Builder, and this is what builds our bootable CD. So I'll double click that. It loads Ultimate Boot CD for Win. So in this uh, video right here, we're just going to do a basic build. Um, we're going to update some plugins. We're not going to really add anything custom because you really don't need too much custom stuff unless you really want to. So, uh, a few things we need to pay attention to. Under Builder, it says the source path to your Windows files. Well, I have my source path. This is your Windows XP CD files. That's what it's talking about. I have my path right there. Now, we need to slipstream in Service Pack 3. So, I'll go under Source, Slipstream. And I'll select my... Service Pack 3, um, Service Pack uh, Archive right there, basically. And it's going to go ahead and extract that archive and slipstream in. It's going to go ahead and include those files into um, our bootable CD. Now, I could not get my bootable CD to work today without slipstreaming in Service Pack 3. Maybe you can. You might not need Service Pack 3, but I had to use it today. I don't know why. Never had to in the future. And I gotta say, during the course of this video, I may have a few errors and things like that. I may have to pause it and fix some stuff. This is not 100%, you know, pre tested. I did get to build an ISO today. That was what I needed to test. So, And uh, it says process stopped, so it successfully did all that stuff. And then I'll just click the stop button. And now we get down to the good stuff, and that is the plugins button. So I'll click the plugins button, and look at all of these plugins. 
This is all great stuff that would help you recover a messed up machine. Either it's messed up from the hard drive, operating system corrupted, um, and you just name anything. It's 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 there to help you out. Not all of these are enabled. You have an enabled uh, um, column right here, and then you have the name of the plugin and the files. Many, many, many people build custom plugins for Ultimate Boot CD for Win, and not of them not all of them work 100% every time. Um, this is not something that's easy to work with sometimes. It takes a little bit of learning, so you need to jump on the forums and learn if you really want to start building plugins and modifying them and stuff like that. I personally don't need to. I use this for pretty much one purpose, and that's just removing malware. So I'm going to go down to the part where we get down to the anti-spyware stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about what we have on here. We have A squared free. That's version 3.5. I've used it mm, probably 100 times this year. I never had any false prob uh, false positive problems. It's been fine for me. I don't really use uh, Adaware. It's kind of out of date for me. Same for Cool uh, Cool Web Shredder. I use Easy PC Fix for deleting temp files out of uh, the computer so I don't have to scan as long. Hijack this, obviously a great thing to have and use. Um, I don't use rootkitty because I can see the rootkit. There's no reason for me to try to find it. I know I can see it's there because we're booted up from a virtual environment. Spybot search and destroy 1.6, very good app to use, especially in a bootable environment. Here's the key. Super anti-spyware. Sometimes if I'm in a cram, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just scan with that, and usually that's more than enough. Next one down. Antivir, personal. Great detection rate. Then you have the, the, you have, uh, the Avast Virus Cleaner. AVG 7.5. Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool. McAfee Skit Stinger. So, all great stuff. Like I said, most of the time, I'll scan with Super Anti Spyware, Anti Veer Personal. Boom, I'm done. I'm out of there. Uh, it usually takes care of everything. So, every week, I will build a new CD because I want to download the latest uh, updates for these programs. Uh, hang on a second, I need to pause the video. So, I need to uh, download the latest uh, updates for these programs and because I'm not always guaranteed to have an internet connection wherever I go and sometimes downloading the updates like uh, like Antivir, I cannot download the update. It's too big to fit inside RAM and when uh, we get the CD booted, you might understand what I'm talking about. You will understand it later as you start using uh, Ultimate Boot CD but basically all your programs run out of a hundred megabyte space 100 megabytes okay so that's how that works anyway need to move on to video three be right back <laughs> 